LumaFusion is one of the best video editors for iPhone or iPad. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I use LumaFusion to create my GarageBand video tutorials. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete. This is Studio Live Today, where I help you create, record, and release your best music. Although today, I'll be doing something a little bit different. By popular demand, I've had a few folks ask me about the video editing software I use to create my GarageBand Quick Jams and some of my other tutorial videos. So I thought in this video, I will give you an end-to-end -end view of exactly how I use LumaFusion to create my GarageBand tutorials. So if this isn't something that interests you, it is gonna be a fairly long video and fairly involved. But if you are getting into LumaFusion or if you are interested in a powerful video editor that takes iMovie way up to the next level, then join me in this video as we go through and edit my latest video. You'll, I think you'll see exactly how easy it is to do. So let's get started. Oh, and once again, this isn't going to be absolute step-by-step -step beginner stuff because I do have some templates set up. I have already pre-recorded a lot of my video. This is more about how I bring it all together and edit together my video. So what I do, first of all, I've got my template here. I'm going to duplicate my template by pressing the little plus down the bottom there. I'm going to tap on this and rename it because this video is going to be all about time, not time signatures, key signatures. So let's just call it key and hit done. Uh, I don't keep these projects. I can't, these are kind of throw away so I don't spend a lot of time <laughs> naming and, and organizing but here is my template so you can see there there's my little intro video uh, I've got my lower third at the top here which is just that Pete Johns at Studio Live today and this is my outro end screen so this is where I overlay my video and at the end of a YouTube video it plays for 20 seconds and that's just where people can tap to go to another video so let's now bring in the rest of my video so I'm going to go to my albums here and to my camera roll and then I'm going to scroll down. So what I do is I record my intros and my outros all here to begin with. So this first one's going to be my first intro. So I can see there by the audio that I start talking about there and I end talking around about there. So I can just use my uh, in and out little tappers there and then the little down arrow to the left will drop it down into my timeline down the bottom here. And now we'll hit play and see if we've got this lined up. The key signature tells GarageBand the root note and what chord... We do, except the problem is, I don't have enough at the start here, because look at that, I've got my tongue hanging out. Uh, let's start there instead, so that when people press on the video, they don't see a man with his tongue out. The key signature tells GarageBand the root note and... Yep, what that's cool. Now, you'll notice here that the audio is all over to the left, um, which is a problem, because I've recorded this on my Steinberg UR12, the world's greatest interface, uh, but it only has sort of... You can only record on one side or the other because the other side's the guitar channel. But no problem, LumaFusion fixes this. I'm just going to double tap on that one, and then I'm going to go into the audio by tapping the audio down the bottom here. Now, I've already set all this up, so I've got this in a preset. So on the top right here, you can see I've got this fill left and limit so this is my fill left which means it fills the left audio to the right channel as well so that we bring our mono into dual mono basically and it also adds the limiter to that so once again if there is demand I can do some more tutorial videos about how to set all of that up but play around with the audio settings and you'll get something like that so now the key signature tells GarageBand the root note and what chords to use in your... You see that we've got a bit of a boost. Our monitor over there on the left, our, our VU meter. We've got a bit more of a boost and our audios on both channels, which is what we want. Now, let's just find our cut point here. Go. Yeah, that looks about right. Go. Yep, we kick into our theme music there with our logo. Now, what I need to do is bring this... So, this is our lower third that's already on our template. Pop that down there so that it's after our intro. And now we need to add in our second intro video, which is this one here, which is the, hi, my name is Pete, blah, blah, blah. So we're going to find our in point, right about there, tap the little in point, find our out point, tap that. We can do a bit better editing once we get into the actual timeline, drop it down, and then here we go. So we'll bring it to about there. I'll use my cut over here on the right tap on that part and use my delete over here on the left. As I said, this isn't going to be a step-by-step -step, uh, tutorial. Sorry about that. But once again, uh, if you do want to learn more, I'm more than happy to do this. But again, it's an audio channel. I just thought this might be interesting to some folks. Uh, let's find that transition. 
Hi, my name is Pete. This is Studio Live. Looks good. Um, I, by the way, I just used the front-facing camera of my iPhone at the moment for this. I was using my SLR, but it's so much quicker and easier to edit on LumaFusion when I just use my camera. So I've kind of been a bit lazy with that. Jump into GarageBand now. Okay, so that's a good uh, cut point there for where we go into our screen recording. So now, let's go in to our screen recordings. Now, you can see here I've got eight in total screen recordings, but four of these are the original ones, and then four are where I've re-recorded the screen recording to get both the iPhone audio and my voiceover audio. So I've got a video about that if you want to check out how to do that. I'll link that in the description and up the top there now about how to screen record your screen recording <laughs> to get both channels of audio. So let's grab this first piece of audio here and we will adjust, I don't know what parts are what and I'd make lots of mistakes here. So I'm just going to drop that down like so. Now we're going to need to do double tap and go to our audio, which it already has up the top right here to our favorite fill left and limit. So that adds our limiter and our fill. Now you can see there I made a bit of a mistake to start with. So I reckon this is where our actual audio starts. Oop, line it up, split it, and tap it and delete it. All right, let's check my transition here. And here we are in the garage band on my iPhone. This is the 12 bar blues. Yep, that's all good. Uh, I'll trust that this was all a good take because I seem to remember it was all fine. And yeah, I'll basically look through and make sure there's no big gaps there where I might need to edit something out. No, that all looks good. Let's just check the end. Just your key signature. Yep, that's good. Cut, tap, delete. So you can see how quickly it is to just trim and do your edits here in LumaFusion. I love it. All right, next little section is here. We'll drop it down in. We'll double tap and do our audio thing, which, yeah, takes a little bit of time, but you know what? Once you've got your presets, it only takes like two taps. All right, cut to the start there, delete, and check our transition. Your key signature. A quick word of warning, however, if we... Yep, that's cool. Come to the end here. Uh, yep. Revert back to that original track. Cut it. Delete the end. And rinse and repeat. Let's get our next section. Drop it in. Double tap, uh, star, fill left and limit, and find our start. So yeah, this bit, yep, there's a missed cue there. The rest seems okay though. So yeah, using your audio to work out where your video cuts need to be is the biggest tip I have for any video editing, but especially here in LumaFusion, makes things really quick. Always a really good idea. Really good idea. Cut it, cut it, delete it. Next section, and we drop it in. And find our start. We haven't done our fill left, that's right. We'll delete this part first. We'll double tap it. We'll go to audio, fill left. Now, one thing that would be cool is a uh, an audio track option here, rather than having to do all these clips, if we could just put that fill left um, and the limiting on the track of audio, that would make things easier. But anyway, it's not too hard. Good idea. One more quick tip before we finish up, and this is probably my favorite use. Now, this one does need a little bit of editing because I try performance here, and yes, a little bit behind the curtain here and I don't get it right the first time. So let's just find where I start the performance. Uh, there it is. Let's record this and I'll show you what I mean. So let's record this and I'll show you what I mean. And then it takes me about uh, seven takes to actually get the recording sounding right. Whoops, I've gone too far. We'll come back. Uh, yeah, so that reckon it's this one that's the right recording. So we'll tap the cut, whoop, and then get rid of all this dead weight, and let's check the transition. And I'll show you what I mean. Yep, so I reckon that's the right one. And just make sure it's, uh... ah yes. So there it is, and then I have a bit of a gap there where I just fiddle about with it, I think. Oh, <laughs> that wasn't the right recording. Okay, maybe it was this next one. Delete that. Uh, yeah, this is the right one. Okay, make sure all these transitions are right. Oh, I don't think I've deleted that one. There we go. Delete the old one, check the transition, and I'll show you what I mean. 
Yeah, that could be a bit tighter on that first tick. Round about there. Is that it? Or is that already ticked? Um, I'll show you what I mean. Yeah, we need a little bit more of that tick. Just hit the undo, undo, about there. There we go, cut, tap. Yeah, enthralling stuff, right? Um, all right, we're nearly there. All right, so we'll go to the end of that performance and then I stop. And then there's a gap there when I talk about it again is here. Cut it, cut it, delete it, and there. Okay, so there is our part recorded in C major. So if you play it back. All right, and the rest of it is okay. And I talk to the end. Yeah, 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 blah, 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 blah. No, so I think that is pretty cool. I do too, Mr. Man. All right, we'll tap that, tap that, delete it. And then we just need to add in our outros. So we'll go back to my talking head here, grab me, go to the start, cut it in, end, cut it out, drop it in. Make sure that that's right on the spot. Uh, needs a little bit more cutting. Just that bit there. Do our double tap and our volume. Fill from left and right. And yabba yabba yabba. Right to the end. On the next video. Oh, I cut myself off too early. So we'll just grab that handle, slide it to there. And on the next video. Still a little bit too early. How about that? You on the next video. Yeah. Oh, and you know what I've done? I haven't put my lower third where it needs to go. So let's grab and drag this all the way back. Whoops, missed it. Grab it. Oh, missed it again. This it does get a bit fiddly, especially on the iPhone here, moving stuff. I wish there was a cut and paste option that we could just cut this and pop it. Like, maybe I'm missing something, but I don't think there is a way to just cut the entire clip and paste it somewhere else, which is a bit of a pain, but I kind of caused this problem myself by not doing this right to start with, because I should have left it down the front here. Uh, so it's supposed to go over my talking head in this section here. So let's just line that up about there. Hi, my name is Pete. This is Studio Live today, where I hope- There we go, that looks good, except it doesn't need to be that long in this one. So let's drop it back to about there and try again. Hi, my name is Pete. This is Studio Live today, where I help you create, record, and release your best music. And in this quick jam series, I do that as quickly as possible. So- Yep, that's about right. All right back to the end. Um, but, 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 but. So I use this uh, left and right to go between um, between the next actions or the next uh, clip, which is handy. So here's my ending. You can leave those down below and I'll see you on the next video. All right, now for these ones, what I do is I actually tap and hold and fly this in because I put this as an overlay to here. We'll find where I want the start to be. It'll be there. We'll cut it, get rid of that intro -y bit and then drop it down to here and make sure it's all good at the end. Audio goodness. Yep. About there, cut it, delete it. Now what I'm gonna do is add a transition. So it fades in and fades out. So we'll tap, transition at the end, and then tap, transition at the front. And then if we double tap on this one, I have another magic setting here, which is under the movement. And if we go to my favorites here, this is my end screen window. So bingo, I tap that and it does all the size adjustments and puts it in this nice spot here. So the reason that it's up there is that down in the bottom left and bottom right are two video links. So my little talking head goes up in there in the top left corner. I've got my subscribe icon in the top right, my two video links at the bottom. So in the end, it looks like this. On the next video. Hey, thanks for sticking around. You know that we All right, that needs to start a bit earlier, so we'll bring it about there. On the next video. Hey, thanks for sticking around. You know that we've got Perfect. a- Perfect. All right, so that is it. So five minutes 58, so it's taken us not much longer than five minutes 58, just probably about 10 minutes to actually edit that together. And this was a complex one because I made some mistakes and had a few takes and had to do a little bit of additional editing there. So that is now done. All that's left to do is to tap the export in the top right here, hit movie and my photos and export it as, do I have enough space? No, I don't. I'll go back some space and then I'll export this to my camera roll, upload it to YouTube and we are done. So I hope you found this 
interesting for those of you that were interested in seeing this process. If you do want to see more Luma Fusion tutorials and videos in the future, then let me know. But I'm very conscious that uh, whilst this is music adjacent, it is not super music related. So uh, I will keep that in mind as we go. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you on the next video.